Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope for the pleasant day. It's Sandbox and the All Quiet on the Western Front and Dracula 4K still books. Brought these both off HMV, as you can probably tell by the stickers, as a blind boy. Sort of been aware of these films for a while, but never actually bothered to watch them. I know I could watch um, All Quiet on the Western Front anytime I wanted on Netflix, but Dracula, a uh, bit harder to watch, I guess, because um, even the standard 4K on its own is a little bit pricey for me. I know I'm being a little bit cheap there. This seems to keep going out of print for some reason, um, and you know, resurrecting itself almost like a vampire. So of course I had to get it before um, it went out of stock again, and I did get it with discount on both of these. Uh, I think they are still available on HMV, but I'll check just before um, you know I leave it in the description. So hopefully they are still there. And I think that pretty much covers it. Anyway, I think we'll uh, probably get straight on the unboxing. So I think we'd do All Quiet on the Western Front first because it seems to be a really nice looking still book. So we make a little cut there. Yep, and hopefully not scratch the still book. And cellophane hopefully does come off easily. And it's actually a lot thinner than usual. So I'll take you through the J card. So a masterpiece, one of the greatest anti-war films of all time. And of course, you've got all screenshots from the film there. Nice sort of matte finish on the J card there. Technical aspects, you've got Adobe Vision and Adobe Atmos and Adobe Audio. So you've got all uh, free. So um, I imagine the 4K for this is going to look pretty good. And 15, strong threat, violence, injury detail, disturbing scenes. Um, awesome, I guess. And I don't think there's really much on uh, special features. It's got audio commentary from the director and the making of trailer and teaser. So not really much there. That's all the language there. If you choose to watch it like that. So take the J card off and uh, that's sort of unique. Sort of uh, darkness. <laughs> Um, that's how I imagine my life. So, um, yeah, do you like these J cards? Um, pretty simple and uh, effective, I guess. Not really much the same on that. It's just a J card. But um, open it up. And, of course, you've got alternative... Well, actually, no, you haven't got alternative artwork on both. I thought there was for a second. But um, there's your Ultra 4K HD. And that's your Blu-ray. So, looking forward to seeing that later. There's your inside artwork, exactly the same as the discs. You've got the two soldiers there, which turns into four, and they're sort of aiming their rifles. So on the back, um, really nice embossing on the lettering there, or quite on the rest in front. You've got a nice little border effect there, a little bit embossing on the German soldier. As you could probably make out on the camera there, sort of highlights it a little bit. So yeah, very nice. And that's the back, it's just sort of, holding each other i guess and um yeah very nice looking still book so put that to one side and we we'll unbox the dracula still book and hopefully not run into too many problems and the plastic seems to be a little bit harder to get off than the other one and winner of the free 1992 Academy Awards. Um, quite a few um, special features there. So looking forward to seeing that. Technical aspects. You've got Adobe Vision and Atmos. No audio. And apparently this is Asia region A, B and C. So you don't really need to worry. So this can change strong mm, violence and bloody horror. Awesome, I guess. And yeah, just your sort of standard um, J card. Yeah, a little bit disappointing compared to the other one, but you know, can't win them all, I guess. Open it up, and um, it looks very, very blue. There's your 4K Ultra HD disc there of Dracula. Always good to see. And that's your Blu-ray of Dracula on the front there. Uh, not really much in the inside, you know, in terms of artwork. It's just very blue you think it was like a still book for avatar or something but uh, apparently it's not and that's the front and the back of the still book and there's a really nice high gloss finish in the middle there sort of in this sort of archway as you probably make out on the camera the rest of it's sort of a uh, bit matte but i do like the artwork on that i think it used to be on the uh was it the dvd or the vhs cover if I'm thinking back, could be completely wrong about that, but um, I do remember something similar to that. And that's the back, and there's not really much. It's just sort of Dracula with 
wolf heads and the very grey background. But yeah, that's the still book for Dracula. And that's both of them, so I might as well get them back in the frame. And uh, yeah, hopefully these are still available on HMV or wherever, if you do want to pick them up, because they are some really nice looking still books. And uh, not the not the worst price either. I don't think I know still bits are going up a little bit more, but you no know, discount sort of reduces it a little bit, as it should do. So yeah, that's the uh, still books. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.